There is, is there something on there? What is that? What? I do, we do got something. We do? Yes, we do. Where? What is that? Where? Oh, what is that, Brandy? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, what should they do, Hope? Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Hey, this video took over a few days of recording. I found uh, something that was attacked on the home, so I'm going to show you guys that right off the bat. And then we're going to go right into... Um, setting some traps on the homestead itself and we caught something and we're going to show you in this video um, Kind of surprising. It was big and um, we show you everything and we made a catch pole Didn't we hope yep. and it worked really well for what we needed for so stay tuned for that Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video Okay, I just came across something weird. Um, there's been an attack on the homestead not one of our animals though It's one of our wildlife that I just came across. Came outside because we got a cold front come in. I think it's like 15 degrees right now. And I wanted to check on the well um, house to make sure the heater's still on and all that. And what I just found is very surprising. And I have no idea what did this. Check this out. So I'm walking back to the house and I come across this. That is a squirrel. But what's crazy it's completely missing its upper half and it's still you can see you can see the blood so i don't know what did that but half of it's missing is that not crazy owls will rip the heads off of uh chickens and stuff so i'm wondering if an owl did this and then dropped it there's a little blood there That is bizarre, bizarre. Look at that. Isn't that nuts? Poor little guy. I'm gonna walk over here and check to make sure there's no predators around. Y'all good? Look up in the trees. How's everybody holding up? Man, there's more of you guys in here. How come you're not going over there? Y'all are packed in here. I'm glad I put them extra juice bars. Is Bobby back in here? No, nope, Bobby's not in there. You okay? What's up, Gunner? What's up, Gunner? That is just so bizarre to me. Let me know what you guys think. You think it was an owl? It's a fresh kill, too. You can see the blood still stained. I don't know. If it would have been one of my dogs or cats, they wouldn't have just left it right there. They would have done ate it all. That almost tells me something from above got it and dropped it <sighs> crazy all right we'll see how it goes in the morning see what's going on well this is the aftermath of the ice storm we got yesterday it's uh, melting off and Making a good stream. So we're gonna go up there and check the pond too while we're over here. What's up guys? I'm on the back side of the property. I'm gonna be setting up a couple of coyote traps today. Um, I got a little bit of footage I filmed for Brandy. I'll show you guys a little bit of that. Just some of the ice that we got yesterday. Um, it was horrible. We got hit hard. Northeast Oklahoma got hit hard and there was wrecks everywhere yesterday. Um, but today it warmed up to like 40 degrees right now. So everything's melting off and just making things a mushy mess out here on the homestead. But I got a couple of coyote traps i'm going to be setting up i need to put the anchors on i'll show you guys that in a minute um but we're going to be setting two of them up because they're, they're dyed in wax and we're going to put them up on the homestead i'm on the back side of the property by the pond like i said and uh, i'll show you guys setting those up and um, we also need to go check the camera at the creek and do some other stuff um, but let me show you the, a little bit of footage i got yesterday from the major ice storm um, here in oklahoma but luckily it yeah, didn't freeze again last night and all that everything's good now it's just wet and messy so check this out Ha <laughs> ha. 
These chickens are sliding everywhere. Let's watch this one. Oh. They can barely keep their balance out. Look at them. Be careful, this eyes are everywhere. Did you, there's only two. Did you see them sliding everywhere? Pretty bad, huh, Hobie? Yeah. Hey. He, he hasn't attacked me yet. I don't know if he's seen me or not. Oh, Dallas is having a hard time. Look at him. Dallas's little webbed feet, he could barely walk. It's so icy. And don't you fall. Yeah, she's looking for eggs. This one's easy. They're easy to break. Can you get it out? I might be able to take it out. There you go. Things are starting to melt, but all the ice is still on the trees. Mm hmm. You can just see. It's starting to warm up somewhere, it'll melt at least. Yeah. Okay, so you guys seen the mess, the ice, I guess, the ice um, yesterday. It was slippery. Dallas, the duck, could barely walk on it. But this is the wet weather creek we got on the property. And um, it's filling up and going to the neighbors. He's got a big old ravine creek down over there. Um, but we're going to be setting him a couple traps over here where we've had several coyotes in the past on camera. So let me get everything out, and I'll show you guys the setup and get up there. And um, this is the first time I've officially took it seriously, like actually done research and tried to catch these. I've messed around in the past trying to get lucky, but didn't really take the whole scent and all that real seriously. Like, man, how smart can these coyotes be? They can smell the trap okay, well, then we had two dug up and never caught one. So yeah, taking it serious now, we're legit trying to catch coyotes here on the homestead. So let me get everything out and we'll walk up to the pond and uh, look things over. So... Got my traps in here. I can try to get some fresh dirt down there to use and some other things. So let's get it all out and get down. Okay. It looks like the pond is still a little frozen. Yep. It can't be that frozen though. Well, yeah, it is right there. <laughs> I mean, it still tells you how thick it froze on that pond. I figured it would be almost slush now. But we did have several, several days, almost a week straight with 20 degrees, negative 2 degrees. So the pond froze hard. And this is really the first day above freezing to get things melted in a long time. It's going to be a mess here for a while. Let me show you what I got going on. It's a mess. But in the past, I had a live trap right there. And um, I've had coyotes on camera all up and down here. There's actually a bone right there. You can see. Put the camera up there and catch the coyotes running this to the pond and all that quite a few times. So I'm going to try to take advantage of this that's already been here. I'm not even going to disturb anything. I'm just going to make the set and get out of here. I'm going to be wearing gloves and all this stuff. I've learned a lot over the last few weeks trying to learn how to do this stuff. And you have to wear gloves to keep the scent off. I can't find my rubber gloves. One of the girls had them last, but I got some other gloves I'm going to be wearing. And uh, one thing I want to uh, talk to you guys real quick about is um, I, I showed setting a set a few, like last week or something. And I used gloves all the way through, but then I took my gloves off and I baited the trap or baited the bait with just my hands and a stick. And the reason why I did that is because the guy that I was talking to about trapping, he said he always, he, he never wears his gloves when he's baiting because he doesn't want get, to get bait on the trap. So if you get on the gloves and the trap, then it's a big no-no. He's never had any issues with them smelling the stick that you touched because the scent you're using and baiting all that, it overwhelms that scent because it's all in a hole. So that's what he was telling me. So that's what I did. I'm probably gonna do the same thing today. So if you see me take my gloves off to bait, that's the reason I'm listening to a trapper that's been doing this 10, 12 years. And that's, I, I tried to do exactly how he told me to do it. And um, I could probably get another set of gloves, put them on all that, but I don't have, I, I barely found one set of gloves today. So let's get it all set up and see if we can catch one of these coyotes. So real clear, just like few these sticks out like that. But for the most part, it's already got the natural, the coyote's already got a place he has to go. So he can't come into the size because he can go right through here. So let me get everything set up and I'll show you guys.
Okay, so we're probably, I don't know, 200 yards, 150 yards, something around from the pig pen, up behind the pig pen. This is a heavy trail that all the game used, deer, bobcats, coyotes, all that. I just set a camera up right there so we can actually get live footage of it. And um, I set the, went ahead and set the trap right here. I moved it from over here, because look at this. <clears throat> just within like three minutes of me digging a hole, it filled up with water. So I had to move my set away from where it's draining. You, I didn't see, you couldn't see all that water wasn't there until I started digging it, it came up out of the ground. Um, but over here, looks like it's gonna be just as good of a spot. Right through here. So let me get all my stuff gathered up. You guys see me set that. And I'm hoping this is the coyote catcher right here. We'll see. He can only come in straight in. He got surrounded right through here. We've caught him on camera a bunch right through here anyway. So he travels this probably nightly. Not just once, a bunch of them. So we hear... If I can find the footage, I'll show you guys real quick. But they, the pack of coyotes are over here. They're howling at the ones over there. They're going back and forth all night long. And they travel our wood line that we don't have anything set up yet where we're going to put the five-acre acre lot. They literally travel it back and forth. Um, so I'm going to put one here. And I got one more I'm probably going to set on the opposite side of the property. See if I can catch one over there and over here just anywhere. And I'll keep you guys updated on that. And uh, yeah, so his, oh, wish me luck on this. Because I think this is the best one I've done so far. We'll see what happens. So, who's molting? Somewhat. Tucker's At molting? First I thought he was no. Stuck together, he ain't molting. He's kinda, well, he's a bully. He's so, Tucker is still on the attack, like, all the time. So, we're going to have to do, do something with him. Chickens are sneezing. When they sneeze, mud flies. Oh, everywhere. gross. Everywhere. Well, you got the 22. So, if Tucker comes at you, take care of him. And I'll eat. We'll put him on the Traeger. Oh, look at here. Brandy's about to get a taste of it. Get out of here, boy. He's been, uh, Get out of here, boy. Did you throw some feet out for them yet? I already did. Why are they following us? We could get some more. I got some in the thing. Here, Get back, boy. Okay, so it's the next day since I set the coyote trap. And my camera, is he coming at you guys? He'll be all right. Tucker is coming after. I hope these chickens don't follow us all out here. Um, but my camera, I don't know if I got it set up too far, but I took some on-demand photos and I'll show you guys a picture. When you zoom in, it looks like I have something in the trap. I don't know. It's, it's blurry, but it absolutely looks like there's something there. So we're going to walk out here and see if I caught a Cody out there or not. So we'll take you guys with us. Gunner is filthy. Lots of runoff going to the wet weather creek. Yeah. So it's been raining since I put the trap out. So even if we don't have something on here, I want to check it. Looks like there's some fresh tracks right there. You can hear it mm -hmm. Nice little stream. This goes right to the pond, so the pond should be full. But yesterday, you guys seen it was still frozen. And I'm, I've seen some fresh I'm tracks. Not cool. Yeah, it's like 50 today. Yeah. So everything should be melting off. Oh, does that, did that not look like there was a dog or coyote in the trap? Right it's no it's a foot trap yeah. i caught that wild dog months ago i actually was outside with the horses and i heard it catch it it yelped real loud it's only been set for less than 24 hours uh, i was hoping i caught something last night but it hunted a fresh deer track the deer walking out through here yeah. it, but i swear in this picture if i showed you guys yet when you, it's a doe it uh, definitely looks like a dog in this trap. So we're going to sneak up around the corner and see if we actually caught something or not. It's still frozen in the middle. I threw that rock on there yesterday. Let's sneak around over here. If there's not something on it, can you come back under the ground? There is. Is there something on there? What is that? Oil. I do. We do got something. We do? Yes, we do. Oil. What is that? Oh, uh, what is that, Brandy? Mom. We do got something in the trap. What is it See it? No, it ain't a coon. 
I can't see. That's on the ground. What in the world? I knew I seen something in that picture. It's a possum? It's a, possum? Mm -hmm. it's a big possum. I knew there was something on there. The camera did not pick it up. I'm going to have to move the camera. But these possums, it's still alive. It's just plain dead. Well, I mean, no, I'm not positive, but... Man, possums, raccoons are ruining the sets. Don't touch it. Is that a live picture? No, I did it. Like, it's alive. I hear it breathing. I see his little ears moving. Yeah, yeah, so I told you I seen something and it looked like it was behind there. Let me get this thing out. That's what, hey, I'm gonna build. What did we, no, what did we get for, at Lowe's? That pipe. We're gonna make a thing with it. Hold this for a second. Possums use it. Oh, it's like, opening its mouth. You, possums use it a pretty pain. Let me see. His arm, his arm ain't feeling real good, so. Sorry. You'll make that baby. Pole come back here. Yeah. Oh, you have to get in between that? Yeah, I gotta get my feet on here and open it up. And I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get that pole and put it around his neck and uh, hold him here while I get down there. Use it. a stick. No, he's not as to... he's not as big as that no, raccoon was at all. He seems to carry so many diseases. His teeth are sharp. But you have to put your hand down there? Oh my gosh, this is about to bite you. Sorry, baby. He bites me. Yeah, we don't have to. Do that. I'm not gonna chance it. Let me see that. Oh, he stinks. He does. He stinks. So you can see it's up on his arm, and this is one. These traps have a space in between, so it can't break their bones. He's just pinched off, and um, he's he's a big possum too. I bet he's a big male. Um. I'm gonna have to go get make a catch Can I ball. Hold Brandy, hold his mouth close. No. You gonna hold his mouth close? Okay, so Hopi and I came back up to the house where Brandy went to get the girls, and I made this very simple little catch tool. And you just put that around their neck, you zip it up like that, and hold them there. And, and it won't choke them because it has it choke them. that thing. Because this will be up on them. Yeah. I'm not trying to choke them, but I mean, yeah. you probably could choke them with it if they <laughs> But that's not the point. It's just to get him down there like that and hold him while you let him go. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Right. You're, fine. You're getting hung up everywhere. All right, let's see what Mr. Possum's doing. It's so wet out here. It's super wet. Yeah, it's right there. Okay. He's up and about now. Okay, there he is. And that's a good size possum. So um, we went up and built this, and we just bought this the pipe today. I said, hey, I might need it. So I set the trap right now. I'm going to catch. You know, we went until like five minutes to build. Super easy. We'll see how good it works. I just kind of thought, hey, this would be easy to make, so we did it. Um, but Hope did a little research, and she's going to tell you why possums are good to keep around. Um, we've never had one kill our chickens or animals or anything other animals like that that we know of, but they do do a good service. Um, to your homestead. Hope wrote some stuff down about possums. Yeah. You want to read all of it? Yeah. Because possums are good to have around the homestead. They kill up to 5,000 ticks a season. They, they also eat cockroaches, rats, mice, and some snakes. They're resistant to snake venom. Yes. Good job. Thanks for incur Thanks for um, inspiring. And no, thanks for. And, uh, educating us on possums and beavers and something we'll do something next next yeah. time too but let's uh let's get this guy out of here he's probably ready to go sleep somewhere and um yeah let's do that okay i'll get around here hope and i'll let you hold it okay okay and we'll kind of, we're not trying to hurt the little guy okay get it around his head not around his mouth Got it right there, Hopi. And I just want you to hold it. Hold it like this so you can't bite me. Okay. You have to hold this kind of here, okay? Okay, here. What bait did you put out? Some 
heavy stuff. Yeah. But he liked it. Gosh. Okay, we got him. Okay. We got him out, Hopi. Here, hold this. You got it? Yeah. Okay, so we got him. And this is working perfect. This is what we want. Um, just so we can control him a little bit. And um, kind of just, we're going to let him go here in a minute. And um, watch him come. I'm going to zoom into him. You can see him. Okay, Hope, you want to let him go now? Yeah. You just kind of let go of that. Just pull this pull this pipe. Don't pull the, the wire. Pull the pipe. Just pull it towards you, and it will release it a little bit right there. See how it's coming out? There, watch your finger. Let that go. Just like that. See that? Okay, take yep, take it off his neck. He's scared. And he got a little fur off his leg, but he's going to be he's gonna be fine. And I'm not going to reset this till tomorrow. I'm going to let him get out of the area. From a lot of stuff that we've been reading, possums will be in the area two or three days traveling through if he doesn't have a home established here. Um, so we're going to let him get out of here. He's probably going to play possum for a while. Um, but I'm going to reset this in Ooh, the morning. He's getting mad. Yeah, because he, he wants us. He's out there. He should feel better now. Um, but these traps that we're using for coyotes do have the space in between um, that makes it where it won't snap the bone. So it's not, it's more of a pain in the butt, you might say, than it is like actually really hurting the animal. So we didn't want to catch him. I was trying to catch a possum. That's, or we're trying to catch a coyote. What was crazy is that whenever I took an automatic picture of it, mm, I told oh, Hope, I said, There's, this looks like something. It looked like a dog for a second. It did look like a dog. So like, we finally just said, let's go out and check it because we need to check it anyways. It's been about, I don't know, 18 hours since we set it and check it once a, once a day, once every 24 Here, hours. Poke and uh, yeah, so. So there you go. All right, let's. Oh, let's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to grab his tail and I'm kind of just going to take him over there. Let me hold this for a second. Put your gloves on. You're going to for sure. They have I just want to get them away diseases. from the set. Yeah, they could they carry diseases. They say um, a lot of the downfall of having possums is not like you think. Um, they do probably, I'm sure they do carry some diseases, obviously. Some not good ones. Some small. people think they hang upside down they trees. Do. They do. Yeah, I, they do. I've, I've actually seen it before. All right, let's get there. Mess that all up because they use this wire. What is that? We're wearing our gloves. Where the bait was? Bit. Yeah. Stepping on the thing. I don't think you're gonna reach back and bite me again. Oh! We'll get him out of here. I want to take him over here, Hope. Okay. Oh my gosh! Ah! I know! It's a big, uh, it's a big nail. Dang. Here, put him in the tree. No, I'll put him out here. Leave him alone. You can film him for a second. Ooh, it stinks. Film him. Film him. He's playing dead. Because he hears some, someone driving. Look at him. He just stinks still. They, they, they play possum. They play dead. Yeah. He's going to get out here, see? Now he's going slow. Mm -hmm. That's adorable. I wonder if he falls over. <laughs> he's just like, leave me alone. I'm going to get out here. <laughs> There he goes. Oh, look at him, look at him. He heard you walking away. I don't have Bubby. I can still see him. Is he climbing a tree? No, I see yeah, him. he's running. He's he's literally not limping or anything. He's just taking his time getting out of here. So what we're gonna do is um, I covered this area up just in case there's any bait here and a coyote does come to get it. I put stuff over the trap because I'm not gonna reset it right now with him in the area. And um, we'll wait till tomorrow to reset this and then kind of just go from there. But it's a success. I mean, I guess we caught something in it. That's always good, huh? Yeah. Probably wash your hands after 
touched this with the faucet. I had, oh yeah, just don't touch the wire, okay? Okay. So that catch pole worked really good. Yeah. So the catch pole worked really well. And then that's gonna be the update. I'm gonna go out to the property. Um, yesterday we didn't have anything on the traps. I'm getting ready to go out there right now. And I don't know um, if I'll show, I probably won't show any footage of that. If we catch it, it'll be for another video. Um, but I'm also gonna pull the SD cards to see if we got any more activity of Mr. Beaver on the camera. And I think you guys really like seeing that wildlife just in action like that. Okay, let me throw it. Yeah. That's still frozen. It's crazy. No. That was frozen thick. Um, but yeah, so uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave me some comments down below if you guys think that was an owl um, that got that squirrel in the beginning of the video. I thought that was really bizarre and weird. I've never came across that before, so I thought that was pretty neat and I wanted to share that with you guys. Wait, so this happened? was a, huh? What happened? The, the squirrel I found in oh, the yeah. road. Um, so yeah, it was a few, it was like, this video is over a few days, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, what should they do, Hope? Please subscribe. Catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.